hope you enjoy wearing your suits. Andrew, are you ready yet? Yes. Well, come on then, let's have a look at you. Look great, Andrew. Hey! Hey, look, Sutai. Look over here. Look at these new jumpsuits in the new bubble skin fabric. Well, it'd really suit you. What is this, bubble skin? Well, it's a new kind of fabric. Well, they say it's as comfortable as your own skin. Well, it's all the rage. Everybody's wearing it. See that news? That's fantastic. Yeah, I like the colour. Well done. Masters, I am pleased to report that everything is going well. Many people are buying bubble skin clothes. Good. You have done well. More of us are coming. You must. Go to the landing place. Yes, Master. Of nice new clothes? No. He wouldn't have any of the clothes he tried on. Well, I didn't like them. Especially not the things they all bought for themselves. I thought the whole point of the expedition was to get some new clothes for Andrew. Looks like he's the only person who didn't get anything. Well, he didn't want anything. Anyway, what's wrong with the clothes he wears now? <coughs> well, if he prefers them. No, we all bought ourselves those new bubble skin jumpsuits. Bubble skin jumpsuits? What are they? You mean you've never heard of bubble skin jumpsuits? Oh, come off it, John. They're the latest fashion, John. Everyone's wearing them. They're supposed to be fantastically comfortable. We couldn't tempt Andrew, but you might like one for yourself. Oh, well, let's have a look at them, then. Well, we'll get changed, then. This is the place you ordered us to come to, Master. Yes, it is. We shall wait for them. They are them. They're here. Well, they don't look all that special to me. It's not what they look like. It's what they feel like. But it is very comfortable. In future, I won't want to wear anything else. Well, you should try it, Andrew. I'm sure you'd like it if you did. Well, I don't think I would. It looks revolting to me. Well, it's a lot better than that stupid skirt you wear all the time. Leave him alone, Mike. You were the one defending his right to wear the kilt a moment ago. Now you're insulting it. Well, he shouldn't go insulting my bubble skin. Well, not without trying it himself. Well, it's the most comfortable thing you could ever wear. Yeah, well, we could do without the commercial, thank you, right? 
Mikey's right. It is very comfortable. You should get the one under you. And you ought to throw yours in, Elizabeth. Yes, you bought one. Well, you should wear yours, Elizabeth. Look, I think I can make up my own mind, Mike. It's not a compulsory uniform, you know. I'm sure if you try it, Elizabeth, you'll like it so much. You'll not want to take it off. We call ourselves the tomorrow people. But really, you lot are just a bunch of sticky in the muds. Here we have the clothes of tomorrow today. Well, we should be the first to wear it, not the last. Everyone ought to wear the bubble skin. It is good. Yeah, well, until we know more about what these skins are, I prefer it if no one wore it. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Well, thousands of people wear the bubble skins all the time. Well, there can't be any harm in it. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure, mate. Well, I'm going to wear it. But I'm going to keep my own as well, John. Well, that isn't like you, Sutai. Just because she's sick enough for herself for a change. You know, you've had it all your own way far too long, John. Come on, Sutai, let's go somewhere. Get away from here. Well, what do you make of that? Oh, my father would have said they deserve a good thrashing. Yeah, well, I wouldn't go so far as to say that, but it is strange behaviour. Oh, not from Mike. Maybe he gets moody sometimes, but for Sutai to behave like that is most unusual. You think it's got something to do with the bubble skin jumpsuits, don't you? Humans, need we fear their threat? We are taking them over. Masters. We are taking them over. May I speak? Speak, host. The bubble skins that were sent out to the shop are all gone. Many humans are buying them and putting them on. We can send out many more that way if they can be spared. If it suits your plan, Masters. It suits our plan. More will be provided. <laughs> well, what do you make of it, then? Oh, I don't know what to make of it, Andrew. In some respects it resembles living matter, and in others it's more like plastic. But as plastic was made from what once was living matter, I suppose there is a link. Hey! What's up, Elizabeth? Well, when we were cutting off bits for you to analyse, I made a cut in the cloth here, but it's not there anymore. Oh, you must be mistaken. No, I cut it here. Yes, well, let's try it again, shall we? Have you ever seen anything like that before? There are materials known to the Galactic Federation which can be induced to repair themselves. But it takes far longer than the bubble skin just did. And it does not happen spontaneously. It has to be induced. But even human skin takes days to repair itself in normal circumstances. It's creepy. Is it alive then? Yes, Andrew, I begin to think it might be. Tim, I'd like the scientists at the Galactic Trig to have a look at this, see what they make of it. I would have suggested just such a course, John, except that communications with the Trig are subject to a lot of interference at the moment. It appears to be caused by something in deep space. Oh, is that something else we should be worried about? No, it often happens, like freak interference on TV screens. It's just one of those things. It just means that if we have any problems, we're on our own, that's all. The shops can take as many bubble skins as we can send them, masters. The humans love to wear them. Good. More will come. Many.
cupcakes the way so many people seem to be sold out so quick. I reckon this one will suit John fine. Do you think he would be pleased with his bubble skin? No, but he'll grow very attached to it once he puts it on. And then he'll be like us. Both of you already have bubble skins. You don't need two, you know. We're buying it for a friend of ours. Ah. Good. We're sorry about what happened earlier. We were very rude. To make up for it, we brought you a present. A bubble skin jumpsuit of your own, John. It was not easy. The shop sells them as soon as they get them in. That's right. The demand is fantastic. Yes, well, I hardly regard a bubble skin suit as a piece of ring, mate. Oh, come on now. We went and bought you a present. A bubble skin jumpsuit. He doesn't want it, Mike. And maybe you won't want yours when you hear what we think. They're alive. Those suits you got on, they're alive. <laughs> Did you hear that? Alive. <laughs> well, we can't be sure until the Galactic Trig have had a look at them. Not a trick. Surely you're not going to bother the Galactic Federation about a teenage fashion craze here on Earth? Well, we were going to today, but there's too much interference. We'll try again as soon as we can. The interference shows no sign of diminishing, John. Indeed, it has gained in intensity in the last hour. Until we know more about these bubble skids or whatever they are, I want you to take those jumpsuits off and not put them back on again. Take them off? Well, you can't be serious. We're deadly serious. Mike, this is no time for being silly. Take them off, please. It is the most upsetting thing that you ask. There. You've upset Su Tai. Well, why should we take them off? Well, just give us one good reason why. I can give you one reason straight away, Mike. Look how strangely you started to behave since you wore those jumpsuits. Strangely? Me behaving strangely? If there's anyone been behaving strangely around here, it's them. Isn't that right, Su Tai? Well, isn't that right, Tim? Since you ask, Mike, I have to say that John, Elizabeth and Andrew appear to be reacting with quite understandable anxiety and that you and Su Tai are behaving in a most unaccustomed manner. So you're on their side. You and them are against us, ganging up on us. It is true. You are not being very nice, Mike, or me. We like our bubble skin suit. Bubble skins like us. Well, they wouldn't like it if we took them off. That is right. They would not be happy anymore. The bubble suits belong to you three are very unhappy that you refuse to wear them. Are well, you both talking nonsense? Yes, of course they are, Andrew. They're acting under the influence of those bubble skin suits they're wearing. Mike, Sue, Ty, you've got to take them off. No way. What you ask is not possible, John. It would upset the bubbles if we took them off. To hell with upsetting the bubble Sue, Ty. What about upsetting us, your friends? Doesn't that matter? Please, John, we can't. Come on, Sue Tai. They don't understand. Where do you think you're going, Mike? Nowhere that's any business of yours. Please, Mike, Sue Tai, be sensible. You do not understand, Elizabeth. I understand one thing. In your present state of mind, I can't allow you to go anywhere. How are you going to stop us? With this, if I have to, Mike. You wouldn't. He doesn't mean it, Sue Tai. Come on, Jaunt. <laughs> We can't kill, remember, Andrew? This is a stun gun. Quite harmless, quite painless. Just put them to sleep for a while, that's all. Strange, strange against us. We must fight back. Right, well, we'll just take off these bubble skin jumpsuits. It's easy to be the cause of the trouble. And then we'll bring them around again. That's strange. Stuck to him. Oh, it's stuck to his skin. Sue ties the same. Ah, oh, so though it's part of them, it's their skin. Let me examine them. You are right, Andrew. The bubble skin does seem to be becoming part of him. The process is far from complete. We must try and stop it if we can. Well, quick, Tim, what do we do? Don't panic, Elizabeth, for a start. What do you need, Tim? I think the process is more advanced with Mike. I will start with him first. Put him on the Medipro couch.
Now stand back, please. What happened? What did you do to him? I stimulated the antibodies inside Mike to reject the alien skin. They destroyed it utterly, I'm afraid. Is he all right now? His body will be drained of energy, the same as someone who has just fought off a serious illness. If you take him to his cabin to rest, I would like to help Sue Tai now. Right, Tim. I must increase the power. That has done it. It was much harder that time. As though the bubble skin on Sutai knew somehow what had happened to the one on Mike. And it had almost managed to work out a way to resist the treatment. But that's incredible. I know, but it happened. If I hadn't turned up the power to the point where it could have injured Sutai, the skin might have won. I think there's danger the treatment might fail completely if we try to use it another time. But what about Sutai? Is she all right? Yes, but she needs rest, the same as Mike. They look so innocent. <laughs> One thing's for sure, whatever these really are, they're not just trendy new clothes designed by the Bubble Skin Fashion Company. But what are they, John? <sighs> Any ideas, Tim? They are a life form of some sort, seemingly able to take over the bodies of other creatures, human beings at least. Well, are they from outer space? It is most probable that they are. Yes, well, we'll put Sutai to bed, and then we'll pay the Bubble Skin Fashion Company a visit. Aye, we'll show them. Yes, Andrew, we will, but you won't. You'll stay here and look after Mike and Sutai. Aye! Oh, I... No arguments. Someone's got to look after them. It's a responsible job. Okay. Call to the masters here. We have enemies. Humans. They must be absorbed. Masters, tell me what to do. They will come here. We shall be waiting. some sleep yourself, Andrew. Mm. No, I'll be all right. There's nothing like a bubble skin jumpsuit. You'll never regret buying one, as long as you live. I'll call again sometime. Oh, this is where we got our bubble skin jumpsuits from. Hmm. I'll go and ask him. some bubble-skin jumpsuits. Oh, I'm very sorry, miss. We're waiting for some more to come in. There's such a demand. It is there. Our enemies. Ah, uh, I wonder if you could put us in touch with the manufacturers of the jumpsuits. I'm afraid they only supply to the trade, sir. 
uh, well, actually, we're journalists. We want to do an article on this new bubble skin fashion craze. We need to have souls there. Just a moment, sir. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Bring them to us. We will deal with them. Would you come with me, please? Must not question the masters. Absolve! Absolve! 